Good day, everyone. So for today's lesson, we will be talking about soul making. Learning objectives. First is to define soul making. Uh, second one is to identify the word metaphor in the soul making. And of course, the last one is to recognize soul making as poetry making and poetry of sight. Let's talk about soul making. Now, what is the definition of soul making? Soul making is defined as the process where the basic seed of divine intelligence in all humans goes through necessary experience, especially suffering the transform into a unique soul. Now, what is soul making as a metaphor? Now, the term soul making is a metaphor. The word metaphor is comprised of two Greek words, the etymology of metaphor. Meta meaning above and pero meaning to carry. Now, metaphor is an image or phrase that carries the reader above the literal sensory realm of invisible imagination. Now, soul making as a poetry making. Now, the word making in soul making comes from the Greek word poeo, meaning to be the author or maker of something. Now, the making is not done by impersonal processes, but by intelligent forces. So making is really psychopoesis for soul poetry. Now, let's talk about the poetry of psyche. Now, soul making or psychopoetic are composed of all the emotions, human institutions, feelings, ideas, pains, and pleasures, and the writing instrument that compose our soul. So let's talk about the branches of art in the Philippines. So we do have what we call the traditional art. So these are the bearers of traditional art can be nominated as Gawad Manilika ng Bayan, and that is equivalent to the national artist or the recognition for being a national artist. Another branches is we have folk architecture. This is including but not limited to the stilt houses, the land houses, and even the aerial houses. These are some examples of what we call as the folk architecture. So most of the houses or the traditional houses of the Filipinos are made from nipa hat and bamboos. Next, we have the maritime transport. So this includes boat houses, boat making, and maritime traditions. So these are the example of the maritime transport. Next, we have weaving. Now, basket weaving, backstrap loom weaving, headgear weaving, fishnet weaving, and other forms of weaving. So these are there some examples of weaving. So we have here basket weaving using the pandan. Then we also have this, just like what I mentioned earlier, the igorots or the um, mountain provinces technique of weaving. Next, we do have carving, including but not limited to wood carving and folk non-clay sculptures. So that's just like what I mentioned earlier, Paite Laguna is one of the best skilled artisans when it comes to carving. So these are some examples of wood carving. Next, we have folk performing arts, including dances, plays, and dramas. So we have Cariñosa, Tinikling, and Pandango sa ilaw. Next, we have the ornament, textile, or the fiber art. Now, hat making, mask making, accessory making, and even the ornamental metal crafts. Another uh, branches, oh, we have pottery. Now, it includes ceramic making, cloth, uh, clay pot making, and folk clay sculpture. Artistic expressions, non-ornamental metal crafts. We also have the martial arts, the supernatural healing arts, 
the medicinal arts and the constellation traditions. Okay, now let's talk about the non-traditional arts. Now, the non-traditional arts is also considered as the bearers of the non-traditional can be nominated as the national artists or equivalent to Gawad Manilika ng Bayan. So they have the similar award, whether it is traditional arts or non-traditional arts. It depends on the impact of the accomplishment by the person who will be nominated. So when it comes to dance, it is included to dance choreography, dance direction, and dance performance. So we do have the National Artist for Dance, Alice Reyes. We also have Lucrecia Reyes or Tula, the National Artist for Dance. When it comes to music, it includes musical composition, musical direction, and musical performances. So we have Ryan Kayab Kayabyab as the National Artist for Music. And Jovita Fuentes, the national artist for music. When it comes to theater, we have it also includes the theatrical direction, theatrical performance, theatrical production, the design, light and sound design, and even play uh, writing. So we have Honorata Atang de la Rama, the national artist for theater and music. We also have Salvador F. Bernal, the National Artist for Theater Design. When it comes to visual arts, it includes painting, the non-folk sculpture, printmaking, photog uh, photography, installation art, mixed media works, the illustration graphic arts, performance art, and imaging. So we have Ang Kyuko, the National Artist for uh, Visual Arts. We also have Francisco Coaching, the National Artist for Visual Arts. When, when it comes to literature, it includes poetry, fiction, essay, and even literary criticism. So we have Nick Joaquin, the National Artist for Literature. We also have La, Lazaro Francisco. When it comes to film and broadcast art, it includes the film and broadcast direction, film and broadcast production, writing, the production design, cinematography, animation, performance, and even the new media. So we have Ismael Bernal, the national artist for cinema, and we have Fernando Po Jr., the national artist for film. Architecture and Allied Arts, we have the non-folk architecture, the interior design, landscape architecture, and urban design. So we have Francisco Manyosa, the National Artist for Architecture and Allied Arts. And we have Jose Maria Zaragoza, the National Artist for Architecture. Now let's talk about the design. When we say design, it includes industrial design and fashion design so let's talk first about the functional arts now cut cut now a technique combining the ancient oriental and european art process considered lost art and highly collectible art form now the technique was practiced by indigenous people of summer islands between 1600 up to the late 1800 a.d now, kut, kut is an exotic Philippine art form based on early century techniques, graffito, and caustic, and layering. Next, we do have the Hindu Buddhist iconography. Now, this religious and cultural influences mostly came through the trade with the Southeast Asian Tasalocratic Empire, such as the Shirivahaya and Mahapahit, which had turned trade relationship with India. Another one we have the Ling Ling O. Now Ling Ling O is an omega shape type of pendant or amulet that has been associated with various indigenous cultures of the Philippines since the early metal age. Now, we do have the Batanes workshop. 
Now, the earlier historians posited that the earliest Ling Ling O artifacts was found in the Philippines were created outside of the archipelago. And if you can actually uh, look at our map, geographically, Batanes is one of the islands outside the Philippines archipelago. Next, we do have the architecture. Now, they range from simple bahay kubo, which is the basis of our cultural architecture. Next is the weaving. Now, it involves many threads being measured, cut, and mounted on a wooden platform. Now, the threads are dyed and weave on a loom. Now, let's talk about the other forms of art. So, we have the indigenous art. Now, sometimes used to refer to the utility of the indigenous material such as a medium for the creation of different kinds of artworks. We also have one, the batok, a form of indigenous tattooing of the Kalinga people in the mountain of the Cordilleras. Now, Wang Oid was the last Mamba Batok and considered as a national icon performing the Batek tattoo art of the Butbut -but Kalinga. We also have Tanaga, a type of Filipino poetry. Now, the Tanaga is a type of Filipino poem consisting of four lines with seven syllables each with the same rhyme at the end of each line. And this is to say a 7777 seven, seven, seven syllabic verse with an AABB rhyme scheme. 